The package stack defines a minimalist API for bounded stacks of naturals. It provides a function empty that creates an empty stack, a procedure push to add an element on top of the stack, and a function size that returns a number of elements on the stack. The ADA 2012 standard enables you to express requirements on subprograms by adding a contract. A contract is made of a precondition and or a postcondition. The precondition is a Boolean expression that should be true before the subprogram can be called. The postcondition should be true before the subprogram returns. The postcondition of a function may refer to the return value of the function. As we can see in the post condition of empty, this is done using the attribute result. Empty must return a valid stack of size 0. The post condition of a procedure may refer to the value of its in and out parameters and global variables before the call. As we can see in the post condition of push, this is done using the attribute old. Push must be called on a valid stack t of size s strictly smaller than max size. After a call to push, s is increased by 1 and t is a valid stack of size s whose last element is the stored natural. Functions can also be defined directly as an expression. This is the case of last element and valid. Expressions have been extended. The definition of last element is a conditional expression. Expressions also include quantification over a finite range. For execution it is simply translated as a loop. The post condition of valid states that the array representing the stack can be divided into two parts. The first one contains naturals and the second part contains the special invalid element. The tool GNAP prove can be used to formally prove good properties in programs. It verifies both the absence of runtime errors and the validity of contracts. There is some restriction on the programs that can be handled. For example, pointers are not allowed. We first check that our program meets the requirements. We go to the Prove menu and choose Show Unprovable Code. The report says that our small program is 100% compliant. If it is not the case, the tool can still be used on parts that do abide by the rules. To use GNAP Prove on our implementation of Stack, we must go to the Prove menu and click Prove File. A pop-up appears that offers several options. We can launch the tool directly with the box Report Proved VCs Checked. Information appears explaining what has been checked. The first check, for example, verifies that S plus 1 is always between the bound of the array T. If it can be proved here, it is because the precondition of push ensures that S is smaller than max size. The post condition of size is not proved. If we move the mouse to this line, we see the message informing us. To make this proof work, we can try to give more time to the tool. We relaunch the proof on this line only and right click on the line. In the menu we choose prove and then prove line. In the previous attempt, we only gave one second to the solver. Here, we can try five seconds. It still does not work. We may have introduced an error. Let us look at the implementation of size. It loops over the elements of T until it reaches an invalid element. To help us debug the program, we can ask the solver to show the path on which there is an error. Here, we see that the problem is on the branch that leaves the loop 
after it has encountered an invalid element. Indeed, the index returned already points to an invalid element. We need to subtract 1 to the result. Now we can try prove this again. To check that there is no error anymore in the implementation, we relaunch the proof on the whole file. To avoid getting lost in information messages, we uncheck Report Proved VCs. No error message is output, the code conforms to its contract specification and no error will be raised at runtime provided callers respect the preconditions.